Hey guys, it's Keepy83. I have a review of one of the newest Monster High dolls to hit store shelves. This is Lorna McNessie. She is the daughter of the Loch Ness Monster. First off, height wise, she's the same size as like the little sisters. So Claudine's little sister, Twyla, that's her height. She has some fantastic skin. It's a very sea green kind of color, but it's also iridescent at the same time. It definitely makes her stand out amongst the Monster High dolls, which usually have like a matte sort of skin. She is like sparkly and fish-like, and it's pretty cool. Her hair is a shade that I don't think we've seen on Monster High doll. It's red, ginger, however you want to describe it. And then there's kind of a, like a light peachy color in the back that goes really well with the dark red. It's styled in curls. They're sprayed down, but not sprayed down to a point where you're like gonna hammer them and they still won't break, but they're sprayed down enough to stay. Her other hair is nice and curly. It has a bounce to it. It's, it's styled well. She has ears. She's a freshwater fish, so she has ears like we've seen on Laguna or Gill. Her face is really cool. So she has eyes that are pretty much the same color as her skin. Around that though, she has really long painted eyelashes and she has a like military green around the eye. I like it, I like that dark splash of color. She has some iridescent right above the green and then her feet, her eyebrow is like a light peachy kind of color. She has pink lips, I don't see any shadow. This is a quick color comparison for you. This is Honey Swamp and this is Lauren and you'll see they're practically the same color. The main difference between their skin tones is that Lorna has more uh, of an iridescent sort of skin tone, whereas Honey Swamp is just, like, matte. But they are practically the same color. I like the outfits. And for once, it's not too short on the doll. She wears a tam on her head that has fabric that is very Scottish. I do like that this doll definitely screams Loch Ness. Definitely screams Scottish. The designers took care to, to put those small details in so we would know who this character was. This is a plastic embellishment. She also has a plastic embellishment here because she doesn't have earrings, so she has on the side of her head this nice little plastic decoration. As you can see, this doll has one problem, one major problem. Her arm was manufactured poorly, so her arm doesn't actually go all the way in pretty much now her arm is useless. We called customer service, they're gonna send us a new arm and we'll see how that goes. She has a tail. Here you go, it's your tail. It moves up, it moves down. It's pretty awesome. It's not as large as the cat tails, which is great too because those take up so much space on the doll shelf. It gets really annoying. So this is nice, tight to the body and it should not get in the way too much. She has Scaly legs, scaly arms, she has the fins on her arms, she has Laguna-like hands, but because it's in a different skin tone, they look really cool. And her shoes are black with like a brick pattern. And I like them, I think they're really cute. I would totally try to wear those shoes. Never be able to walk in those shoes, but I would try to wear those shoes. Overall, I do quite like Lorna. I think the fact that she's short Adds a bit of variety to the Monster High line. I think her outfit's cute. I love her coloring, and I love that we have a slightly normal color hair on this girl. I do wish quality control would have been checked a little closer because it was really disappointing to have, you know, a new doll with a broken limb. And we've seen this multiple times in the Monster High line, so it's not like it's a new problem. I know I've had to call two or three times at least because of this exact issue on other dolls. Share your thoughts down below. Let me know what you think of Lorna. You can check out my blog, Confessions of Doll Collector's Daughter. You can check out our Facebook page, also Confessions of a Doll Collector's Daughter. And I'll be back soon with more doll and toy reviews. Bye.